Hey guys, here's another tutorial for Blender and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can extrude a shape along a path. So I've used that technique actually here for these uh, um, cables or hydraulic hoses, also for this here. So anytime that you want to um, say create a tube or some kind of cable or extrude something along a path, um, maybe you want to make a model a snake or something, um, this is basically how we do it. So uh, I'm going to open up a new Blender project and we'll just shift these out of the way to another layer and we'll remove our default object because we don't need it and I'll just also get rid of our floor grid because we don't need that either. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a shape that we're going to extrude along. So let's go over to create and we'll go to a NURBS curve. Okay, so that creates for us this curve. Let's go to a top view. Now I want to edit this curve a little bit. Um, so let's head over into edit mode. And you'll see here in edit mode now we get these handles and we can we can manipulate this curve to curve however we we wish it to so let's curve it something like that okay so there is our curve now it's really pretty straightforward what we're going to do is we're going to take a circle so we'll create a Create a NURBS circle. All right, so there's our circle. Let's resize it a little bit. Now we'll come back over to our shape, and then over here on the uh, right side here, you'll see in our tools there's um, various options. When we come to our NURBS curve. So what we want to do is basically go to bevel object and in our bevel object we'll choose the NURB circle and you'll see now what that has done is extruded our circle along this curve. So now we have our curved shape. If we come over to our circle and if we scale this you'll see the changes reflected in our extrusion. So you can make that thin or as wide as you like. We can also then still go uh, to our object and go into edit mode and we can still manipulate the curve so that we can still make changes to our shape. See that's pretty powerful and um, pretty useful for us. Uh, as you saw earlier, I used it when making some hydraulic hoses or cables. Or uh, I'm sure you'll find lots of uses for this in your modeling. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a curve. It could also be a square that you may choose to um, extrude along that path. So if we were to uh, go back into object mode, And uh, we'll create another circle here. Delete that in a moment. Okay, here in our circle, we've got uh, various options there, and we can lower the number of subdivisions in our object so you could say turn it down to a cube to a um, to a square sorry then we come back over to our curve and we'll change the object and you'll see now we get our square being used instead of a circle and it extrudes it also along the same path so there we go that's how we extrude a shape along a path i hope you find this tutorial useful thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time